Hey, it's Kay. Um, I have decided I am a much better um, talker than writer. Okay, not a better talker than writer, but better at remembering to do it. So I am going to start doing weekly video updates um, so you can have your Monday updates and know where things are with uh, Pixie Elegance and that I'm not just not doing anything because it probably seems like that most of the time. Um, in fact, let me show you a couple of things that I have gotten done. I have some cafe con leche soaps. They're um, coffee. This part is coffee and then this part is um, coconut milk soap. And, um, and the, the dots in there are coffee grounds for extra exfoliation. These are my Pixie Garden soaps. I have a whole lot of little soaps up there and they're all going to be packaged up just as soon as they're done curing. Bunch of little various shapes over here. I'm going to have all of them at the um, craft fair that I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks. Um, talked about this on a that's just trash. Let's get that out of there. I talked about this on on um, the last uh, book craft session, but I did finally get my, my, um, yep, yeah, resin rotisserie, I swear I know words, my resin rotisserie up and running, um, and it's worked pretty well for coating things evenly. Um, I did discover some of them, um, if they, if this part, um, the hook isn't in there tight enough and it can turn then the gravity keeps it flopping back and forth and it ends up still not um going right and it still ends up with this if i can get this focus this drip on it um but most of them worked really well um i just need to refine my technique a little bit now that i ha actually have it going um i am getting ready to work on some um, Café Con Azúcar, that is, um, so Café Con Leche, if you don't know, uh, means coffee and milk, so that's why I have the Café Con Leche soap, and I'm going to have Café Con Azúcar, which is coffee with sugar, um, as a scrub, so there'll be the Café Con Leche soap and Café Con Azúcar scrub, um, and currently I'm doing those with the Dominican coffee that my church, um, from the place in the Dominican that my church goes to, um, to help with building a hospital yearly, but they haven't been able to go since January of 2020 for some reason, I guess something happened in the world or something, but they're finally going back this January. So I'm going to be selling those at the craft fair coming up. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to list them on the website as well. And any sales of those beyond the um, cost of materials, which does not include the cost of the coffee from the Dominican, which is fairly cheap anyway, but um, I was actually given that by somebody who goes on the trip to be able to do this with. So that was their donation. Um, and anything that goes um, beyond the cost of, um, sorry, I keep getting distracted by everything. Anything that goes beyond the cost of, um, the materials, which is basically just the lye and the oils, um, is going to be donated to this upcoming trip. Um, I have a few, um, Jane Austen, pendants ready to be put together um and I'm going to get those and some books put together hopefully a few of the other authors as well um but the craft fair is on November 5th and that is coming up super fast um I have several other things that I was really hoping to get together I don't know if I'm going to have all of them ready in time but I'm working on as many of them as I can um, I've got to get at least a few candles together. I'm going to have some jewelry together. And as soon as I have things ready for the craft fair, I'm going to take pictures of them to also be listing on the website. So I suspect.
expect that those will go up on November 5th, unless I really manage to get my act together and get them up earlier, but I think I'll probably be listing them while I'm at the craft fair, because that's how I roll. Um, so I, yeah, soaps, candles, jewelry, I'm working on stuff. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm just kind of using this craft fair as an, um, as a kind of marker of, of where I'm aiming to, um, to have things done by. So, um, for those of you who have not seen any of my updates on other locations since when I had COVID, or maybe you don't even know that I had COVID. Um, so when I had COVID this past January, it turned into long COVID. It went really bad through the spring and I was questioning for a while. Um, and I think I had said it in my last blog post as well. Um, I was questioning whether I was going to be able to continue with my original intention for Pixie Elegance, which is to um, start with my own crafts and then work forward. So um, for a while there, I genuinely didn't know if I was physically going to be capable of safely working on crafts anymore. I didn't know what I was going to be able to do. I was dizzy all the time. Um, I was perpetually shaky. It was really rough for a good five months probably um I finally eventually came out of most of that um I'm still dealing with a lot of migraines like at least weekly migraines um and I have a neurologist appointment but I've been waiting um by the time I get to it unless they get me in earlier which I'm hoping and praying will happen, but, um, by the time I get to it, it'll probably be about six months from the point that we started setting up the appointment. So, um, that's in December, but, um, trying to just manage it in the meantime until I can get to the neurologist to see if we can, um, come up with any longer term solutions. Um, my migraines do not tend to, um, manifest as pain first, um, or primarily they tend to manifest as actually less pain than some of my non-migraine headaches have. Um, but a lot of, um, the brain fog from COVID comes back, the dizziness, um, sort of a difficulty with focusing my eyes, um, which kind of that plus the dizziness kind of fall into the category of the auras, but I don't get necessarily the same kind of visual auras that a lot of people get. Um, my father is prone to migraines without pain, um, apparently. Me too! Yay! Um, so, anyway, I am still working on stuff. I am still plugging forward. I am definitely still looking for people to, um, partner with. So, if you are interested in working with Pixie Elegance, I am looking for somebody who can take a passion for my, for my, um, my vision, a, a passion for, um, handmade items, a passion for, um, returning to craft is the, the original definition of craft is this, this one skill. I mean, it doesn't have to be one. I obviously do about a billion things, but, but having that skill to really craft useful items, um, somebody who who can take my my passion and and desire to draw artisans and and customers together and be able to um and i'm back a child needed my assistance so this is my life trying to craft trying to mother trying to work 40 hours a week until crafting is something that, um, well, not just crafting, but bringing other crafters and artisans together, um, is sustainable for my own life. It's a lot of different things going on. Um, so anyway, I, um, I was saying if I can have somebody with that passion who, um, is better at the I don't want to say the business side of things because that sort of cheapens my own skills and abilities. Um, I have the idea portion of the business mind. I need somebody who has the numbers portion of the business mind. I have an understanding of it, but actually doing it, actually getting into the gritty details and the 
the um in Emma approved what Emma refers to as the boring businessy stuff um every person who is that spreadsheet boring businessy stuff person um for lack of a better term needs the driving um constant ideas person with them and every driving constant ideas person needs somebody who takes comfort in the spreadsheets or in the looking at all of the different software and in figuring out those nitty-gritty details so somebody who has that passion that ability and wants to partner with me please get in touch i would love to talk to you and see if our visions and our our um, skills are compatible also other artisans um i am looking right now at adding some things to my website besides my own things at adding some things made by other crafters on a consignment basis it is not what i want to do with pixie elegance long term my goal is to be able to be a a buyer of suppliers have the the artisans be the suppliers um i still want pixie elegance always making things in-house as well but i want to be able to have other artisans as suppliers so that's the ultimate goal right now i don't have the funds to be able to outright buy a lot for sale um for resale so for now artisans who are willing to sell on consignment and um look toward eventually um creating a, a longer term partnership um you can go to the the link down below um there's always something that um there's always something that i'm interested in it I might not be looking for every single thing that you make to have on Pixie Elegance's website because there is a style and an aesthetic that I'm cultivating. But that doesn't mean that what you make isn't good and that doesn't mean that you don't have something that would fit that style and aesthetic. So um, if you're interested in, in doing something like that, contact me. Um, the contact form on my website, like I said, links below. Um, you can uh, let me know join us um every other tuesday that's tomorrow night um tomorrow is october 25th i believe um so join us tomorrow night for bookcraft seven o'clock eastern here on youtube or there on youtube if you're watching this embedded in my blog or from a different um social media but um you can see it on youtube you can um do the stuff just join us have fun my my biggest my biggest goals are always 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 to bring people together to encourage artistic pursuits and to encourage intellectual pursuits in as much as possible all three of those at the same time so um if you have ideas of ways to do that of joining with us in different things feel free. Um, if you are up for joining us for book craft, we are currently reading Little Women and we would love to have more people coming and getting involved in the conversation. And for this week, we are reading um, chapters seven and eight. Um, so if you can read Little Women, you can not read and just come watch us craft and talk about it whether you've read it or not you can watch the movie and come watch us talking about it um i've read it two other people who are doing it with me have not read it it's going to be um I and mean, we have fun every every other week that we get together and talk about it we have fun so join us join in the comments um let other people know about about pixie elegance about book craft um and um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts of something that you would like to see from Pixie Elegance, if you have, um, anything that you're curious about or any 
something that you want to join on or better yet if there's something you want to join on you can message me on facebook or use the contact in my on my website and i will talk to you with my next update next week bye